Hi guys, happy Thursday. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I just watched the latest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, season 11, episode 3, and I am completely shocked at the outcome. <clears throat> and so I just want to maybe do things in rewind. And so the gag, the absolute gag of this episode is that we have Team Brittany and Team Mariah. Team Brittany wins the acting challenge. And so everyone in Team Mariah is up for elimination. And so RuPaul decides that because the entire team decided that they all were at fault from the outcome of their acting challenge, that they all had to lip sync for their life. So for some reason, my TV decided to act up I um I recorded it on my DVR and so the TV started to act up during the lip sync and so I could not see the entire thing but it kept freezing and stalling and so there was a moment when I saw Honey Davenport leap from the main stage to the lower level and I think it was maybe season five or six when RuPaul said that as a contestant you must stay on the main stage and so when that happened I knew um, Honey probably would not remain in the competition and so um, I, I want to try to like maybe find it online so I can actually see it it's in its entirety uninterrupted but it kept freezing and stalling and freezing and stalling and so it was so intense um plastique tiara looked um very pretty and so i wasn't shocked when rue called her name first um i was excited for akiria that she was able to remain in the competition um and so we, we went through kind of like all of the girls and we learned that Honey Davent Davenport um, is eliminated from the competition, um, which was very sad. I, I really liked her promo look. I liked um, the concept of her entrance look. Um, she was someone who I was actually rooting for. And so unfortunately, um, everyone can't win someone has to leave and so that was very unfortunate and so um for team mariah so going back to them um they were i mean team britney sorry team britney was perfection um well executed um great lines great delivery um, the only hiccup in the group was Mercedes. I'm not sure what is going on with Mercedes. I don't know if it's nerves. Um, I don't know. It's because she feels intimidated uh, by the other girls because they're kind of like really over the top personalities. Um, but when you're in a group with Nina West, um, Silky Ganache, Ariel Versace, and um, Brooklyn you and um what's her other name um miss vangie and i'm blanking on the other girl's name there's so many of them um but you have to really stand out and i was really disappointed um that she couldn't nail the line with spears um i think she was very uncomfortable delivering the lines and it could have come off more confident had she rehearsed 
And so I think Mercedes was really lucky that her team won because had they not won, she probably would have left the competition. And so I hope that she's able to kind of like really um, gain the confidence that she needs to really stand out amongst this group of contestants. Um, There's some strong personalities um, and I kind of like uh, came into this episode really excited for Silky Ganache. I was able to see her perform last night at Hamburger Mary's in Long Beach and she was incredible. I loved her hosting skills. Um, she serenaded someone in the audience. It was um, unexpected, um, but uh, such a great moment for her, um, considering kind of like all of the controversies that she's been experiencing. And I was I actually really loved that um, Silky and Ariel were on the same team and they worked well together um, because of kind of like what has happened after shooting. And so I hope that Ariel and Silky can um, become able, be more cordial um, and just um, remove the negative negativity between themselves. And so Team Brittany, they were great. I was laughing and giggling like every five seconds. Uh, they had great lines. Um, this episode, um, it, it kind of is very challenging to do two acting challenges back to back where both teams um, soared last week in the acting challenge. And then um, Team Mariah, I'm really surprised because like I'm not the biggest Mariah Carey fan, uh, but considering that the teams were able to choose the diva that they wanted to worship, I'm surprised they actually decided to keep Mariah as their diva. Um, Early in the episode, Rue comes to talk to the teams to learn who they've chosen as their diva to worship in the Shivan Chalagul acting challenge. And so um, they had the opportunity to change their diva of choice That's what I would have done. Um, If Rue came and I couldn't name um, the nickname of the fan for my diva, I couldn't give any isms of the diva. Um, I couldn't even kind of like um, get Rue to see that we actually um, knew a lot about the diva. I would have like, you know, chosen someone completely different. And so um, that's really unfortunate that they decided to um, continue with Mariah. And they really, Team Mariah really used kind of like only the isms that RuPaul gave to them. They didn't dig deeper into the character. Um, It's kind of shocking that um, the girls who really excelled in Team Mariah last week um, just fell flat this week with the diva worship challenge that's very upsetting um plastic tiara i'm really kind of like really waiting for her to kind of like wow me um she got really close last week um but her and akiria with the ariana grande conversion into a mariah carey fan actually fast forwarded through it i pretty much fast forwarded through most of Team Mariah's acting challenge because between um, oh my gosh, what's the girl with the long hair? Her and basically the um, the two main girls, I can't believe I can't remember their names, the two main girls um, that were doing Team Mariah, once they kind of like fell flat, I just kind of like started to um, fast forward through their whole acting challenge. And so um, I'm still just gagged over that lip lip sync. Um, That will go down in drag history. Um, From what I saw 
Um, the first few seconds were a little bit sloppy. Um, no one knew exactly what to do. Um, but then I think that um, Raja really stood out in the, the like the first five seconds because like she went from her corner to across the stage and that's when like um, it just started kind of like messing up so just like uh, I hate that that happened um, this wasn't my favorite episode um, because of Team Mariah um, and it's really unfortunate that um, they weren't able to um, really meet the criteria of the challenge and so that's very upsetting but they get to redeem themselves with next week's episode um, which is going to be called Trump the Rusical so I'm not sure how that is going to go um, I didn't watch the previous Untucks and so I tried to get into this week's Untucked and I just stopped um, I'm trying to kind of like I really want to make an effort to block out um, anything about the contestants that will um, prevent me from seeing them as drag queens. Um, I no longer am going to kind of like watch drag race spoilers or even read about spoilers or um, I don't follow, I, th I follow very few of the um, contestants and I want to keep it that way. Um, with this season in particular, um, there have been so many controversies that come out um, almost every single day. And um, it's kind of like making me not want to um, really continue watching the show because of like what I've learned about some of the contestants um, and so I think with a lot of um, like the musicians that I love the artists that I love I don't follow them online because um, I think there needs to be kind of like separation between a musician artist and who they are as a human being I don't need to know what my favorite artists have eaten for dinner. I don't need to know that they're not paying child support. That really kind of like takes away from their artistry. And I think the same thing for the drag queens. I don't know what I don't want to know anything about their personal lives. I just want them to entertain me. And so um, I kind of want to like pull away from like things about their personal lives because it really kind of like it um, changes the way that I um, view them as an artist and so I, I know this is having a very kind of like different type of review it was all over the place um, but I felt like this episode was a little bit all over the pa place um, the mini challenge um, really didn't go with the main challenge. Um, it was a bit confusing. And I actually thought that Silky was going to win the mini challenge. So I was, was really surprised about that. Uh, because she was hilarious for the mini challenge. Um, <clears throat> Plastique. Um looked very fishy for the mini challenge um, she looked better than some former contestants when they have like a full like two three four hours to get ready so that was kind of hilarious um, so I think this is a good place to end the review um, sorry that it was like all over the place um, but I hope that you liked this uh, very different type of review. Um, it's also like 1 a.m. here, so I'm a little bit tired. Um, I have to wake up early to go to work. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts about this particular episode, and let me know what I missed 
for um, the lip sync. Like, I can't believe, like, it was just kind of like um, freezing and not playing. So just let me know what I missed. Um, tell me who were your favorites for the lip, lip sync. Uh, what did I miss with Honey Davenport? Um, and share your thoughts about the um, episode. Um, has your top three changed um, because of this episode? Um, and uh, oh, one thing that I did not mention, I didn't mention any of their um, the outfits for the runway. Um, Miss Vanjie was in red again. I think she's probably going to wear red the entire season, which I'm here for. It. I love her in red. Akira was my top toot of the week. Um, it was very unexpected and um, very minimalistic, but um, executed uh, beautifully. So I, I loved the placement of the, the metal fringes. Um, maybe my least favorite was Mercedes Iman Diamond. I really want her to to step it up. And so this is now the official end of the review. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Besos.